Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 7 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we get all the records using Eloquent, how to delete our records and how to manipulate our records and also I am going to show you some really important Laravel class and it its method basically that are really effective and you can use it anywhere in your project so let's start and I will run my project because I have already accessed my project directory right here php artisan sir okay let's check it out refresh if it is working yes it is let's move to home and we are on home let's move to add post okay so we are on create post page and we have highlighted link of home so to fix this we are going to use laravel global class and its method uh, but we are going to do that later in this video so first of all i want to arrange these links basically i want this post links to be at the second position so let's do this first Let's move to master layout and I will do, let's move it up right here. That's it. Okay. And we have posted the second spot. And I think it is not working because we don't have any link right here. Okay. Let's define a link right here. URL, when we click on post, I want to hit the URL basically or the route. You can say all post. I will just show you the route I'm talking about right here all post you can see okay so it is fine now let's refresh and check it out post and we are on the post page basically we are going to display all the post right here and when we click add post we are on add post okay so now let's print our uh, basically print all the post right here let's do this i will move to my post controller which we made in the previous video and basically on uh, when we are hitting this url we are uh, basically returning a view and the view name is right here all post i will just td here so that there is no confusion left for you here basically when we hit all uh, all post route we are going to get this i'm just showing you showing you that we are going uh, we are getting the uh, view from this method right here okay so you can see here okay now let's get all the post dollar post is equals to post we have already discussed this method and you know how can you get all the posts simple or let's read here post okay let's refresh mm, okay so you can see we have seven posts right here okay and let's see if we can apply some condition right here and yes we can we can only print the post that uh, basically that post uh, we are basically in this case we are only going to print the post that are active basically in this case that contains one right here okay because when we are creating a post let me show you we are asking our users that if you want to show this post or not that's it okay so i'm going to apply this condition right here i will just remove it and change the method i will apply where with the where clause is underscore active is one basically basically it is a string because we are passing a string right here in this column okay and that's it and get all the posts we have to chain uh, chain this get method to get all the records okay and if you want one specific record what you can do is you can get uh, basically use the first method right here like this okay i will just write get and let's see if we have our post dollar dd dollar post that's it. simple refresh uh, post and you can see now we have three posts right here that are active let me show you right here okay so let's print them what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to pass this post variable in plural to our view right here i will type compact we have already discussed this compact function and we are going to pass this variable without a dollar sign right here okay and we are going to get this uh, variable right on our view 
with the dollar sign keep in mind okay guys let's move to our all post page right here let's put a for each loop for each dollar posts as dollar post it is quite simple you can see and let's end it right here and for each okay let's refresh okay now you can see we have three posts and for some margin i will just assign this card a class mb5 and mb5 basically margin top and margin bottom that's it refresh and we have our margin right here and we have three posts okay you can see that okay now uh, here right here feature on this featured where we are basically in the header section what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to get the user that this specific post belongs to so i'm going to leave it for now and let's continue to get our data i will put a heading right here let's say h uh, let's say h4 h4 would be good and let's assign a class class text minus muted and let's close the class and let's get the post name right here how are we going to get the post name basically with this post variable dollar post because now we are using a single post as an object and i want post post underscore name that's it simple let me show you and you can see we have our post name right here now let's print our post description below in the p tag dollar post description anyone joining me right now i will just i will just show you that we are getting this post name and description name from right here okay guys simple now let's create a link right here edit and delete I will just copy this let's create another one and let's say warning for edit and we are going to look at it and we are going to basically in this video we are not going to discuss about the edit feature in this video we are going to discuss about delete functionality okay and let's say danger that's it let's keep it simple refresh and we have our links right here now let's get the username of this specific post right here all the specific post contains a specific user basically each and every post belongs to every specific user let me just show you that we have a relationship in place we'll just move to app and from basically we want the relation from the post side so i will move to post and you can see here we have basically each post contain one specific user relationship basically has one relationship now let me move to user.php just to show you that we have relay uh, the forward and the reverse relationship okay in this case right here we have has one relationship with post and in this case we have has many relationship for post okay but in this case the reverse relationship is basically let me just show you again each specific users basically each specific post belong to one specific user and we are going to get the username and user detail with this user method let me just show you and i will say posted by and let's say we are going to basically get this specific post let's say dollar post and i want this post specific user for that i'm going to use this method name right here copy paste it right here and now because in this case the relationship is singular and we can directly access this user detail as an object property and if you are going to get basically if uh, one user have multiple posts in that case you have to for each basically use for each but in this case in our case right here this relationship is the inverse and one post contains one specific user basically one post belongs to one specific user so in this case we can get user details directly as an object property let me just show you right here simple let's see refresh and you can see post related user let me just show you a such second post 
let me show you a such second post uh, right here you can see this uh, here we have user id 2 and the other user is myself basically tosif and i will just show you where post is active right here you can see user is 1 so this is how we are going to get user related data if you want user age etc you can get it easily now it's time to implement our delete functionality what i am going to do and one important thing is that mine and your data can be different because i am making two videos at a time one in urdu and one in english so i hope it doesn't basically it doesn't matter really uh, all you have to do is you must have your records in place that's it okay now let's delete uh, implement our delete functionality we'll create a route url to hit delete simple and let's pass the id basically right here we are passing a string and to pass dynamic id what i have to do come out of this commas and let's concatenate our post id specific post id i will show you refresh let's inspect it if we can yes i'm just showing you that we have specific user id for each specific user you can see we have id right here 5 and we have id 8 right here you can see okay now let's close it and let's create a route for delete route get basically we can use get uh, route for two things or you can say basically for two important uh, functions to perform basically one to return a view uh, just like here create post is returning a view let me just show you right here to return a view and to manipulate our data basically to delete or to edit we can also use get request okay it's time to implement delete i will create a route delete and we are going to get an id as well when we click on this specific link and let's hit a specific controller specific method let's say delete to delete a record now i will move to post controller let's create a function method delete simple and we are going to get the id right here and let's move to next line let's dd the id just to confirm that we have id in place refresh okay now let's delete this first and you can see we are getting our id now it's time to delete and let me show you one thing that we have deleted a column uh, in place this means that we have implemented soft delete let me just show you post and see we have implemented soft delete so in this case when i am going to apply a delete method this is not going to delete a specific post basically it is not going to delete a uh, post permanently what it is going to do is it is going to mark specific column basically it is going to put a timestamp right here in the deleted at column okay let's let me just show you and let's say get the post first post post find and you can also use find or fail if you want to now we are getting the id right here and what we have to do post delete that's it let me just show you deleting one post and we have this post Look at this column right here okay this one as a second post let's move back refresh and as a second post let's delete it it is deleted let me just show you basically in this case soft deleted and you can see this post is soft deleted and now if we move to the specific page we are not going to see that post okay so for that what we are going to do is we are going to use force delete that's it simple and now we are going to return success return redirect back these are most powerful method to redirect back to that specific page basically in this case all post page redirect back with mm -hmm, sorry guys success and let's say post deleted success 
fully that's it okay now what we have to do we are going to get a div alert div right here let's put our condition for success message uh, basically this with method right here it is going to put this success key and value in our sessions let me just show you session we have already seen this method session has success we are going to check it first and if if it is printer div div class alert alert minus danger basically success in this case div and get the success doll session get success that's it and let's remove it from right here and put it right here that's it okay let's refresh refresh and let's delete this record with the name tosif and is active basically this one the eighth one and i'm just going to delete it and you can see we have our post deleted successfully right here okay so this is how we are going to delete our post when we are working on our project i just wanted to uh, basically show you so that you have some basic idea of how are we going to manipulate our data like add it or delete or implement this feature like edit and delete and how to manipulate uh, relationships record in this case we are going uh, basically in this case we are getting specific post related specific user name or and also we can get any type of data that we want okay now it's time to fix this highlighted class and now i am going to show you another important and effective global class and its method let's just move to my master plate we just close this all because we have a navigation right here in the master blade and this is responsible for highlighting any specific class you can see active right here now what i'm going to do i'm going to write a request basically the class name it is globally available you don't need to pass anything or import it this class is basically globally available segment one we are basically checking this segment i will just uh, tell you in detail just wait for a bit i like here if segment one is equals to home what you have to do basically we are applying a ternary condition right here right here this is our condition if request segment one is equals to equals to home if it is true what you have to do is apply class active and for else we use columns and right here empty if request segment one is home put active class right here and if it is not do nothing that's it we'll just copy it and put it right here on the nav item right here and on the nav item that's it now let's just change it if we have request segment one as all post basically we are telling the route name right here it will all make sense in just a moment this is a ternary condition we are checking the condition if it is true assign the class active else do nothing this is simply if else with ternary conditions let me just show you okay now let's move to home page and we have our home class basically home link activated let's move to post page and you can see we have our post link activated let's move to add post how are we doing that basically with request segment method basically this segment method what we are doing right here is we are checking for the segment basically after the route basically sorry the route this is a route basically this is our application route right here this is the application route you can say right here and now we are checking if we have something in segment one right here is the segment one one okay and this is segment two this is segment three you can check as many as you want but in this case we had a simple url 
uh, only the first segment so what i'm going to do right here is basically i'm checking if segment is home right here if segment is home is equals to is equals to home what you have to do is to apply a class and you can see it is working now for post what we are checking if url or segment one is equal to all posts what you have to do is to highlight the post class and the third place uh, third place we are checking for the create post method if we have create post in the url what you have to do is you have to highlight this class right here okay guys so i hope you guys like the video in the next video we are going to uh, discuss about edit feature and uh, after that we are going to discuss uh, some really important features that how can we basically clear the cache in laravel etc so i hope you guys like the video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and soon we are going to implement our real life project basically a blogging system website thank you take care